on YouTube. This is Ken again with another video. This is a, a review of the Sega Genesis 32X, as you can see right there. <clears throat> now, what this is for uh, anyone that's not familiar, this is a um, add-on for the Sega Genesis that was uh, released around 1994, I believe. Uh, or 93, 94, right around there. I mean, you could probably do a Wikipedia search on it. And, <clears throat> sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you is just the, the, the add-on itself and uh, the games and whatnot. Um, so yeah, to start off with, this is a, uh, loads into your cartridge just like a um kind of like a S super game boy would on a super nintendo but this adds 3d graphics so this is one one of the first like 32-bit systems to really come out um aside from like the atari jaguar and that touted as a um, a 64-bit system but it wasn't really. So this is the real 32-bit system right here. Um, and I think the uh, Atari Jaguar was a 32-bit system, but it had two 30-bit, th two 32-bit chips. Um, I think it was called Tom and Jerry on the circuit board. And <clears throat> Atari uh, claimed that it was a 32-bit architecture but it wasn't really so this uh i think this uses like a 33 megahertz risk atachi processor or something like that um it's very similar to what was found in the um saturn so this was kind of like uh, in my opinion uh it's kind of like the beta test for the saturn um so it was released between the um the Genesis and in 94 they came out with Saturn so yeah this came out about 93 and then the PlayStation came out in 95 which is from Sony so Sega was trying to get ahead of the the curve and um, the Dreamcast came out in Japan first and then by the time it really came out to the US the 32x was on the market for like maybe six months to a year before uh, people uh, realize that they kind of been duped into buying this. I thought it was a cool idea when it came out. I, re I remember reading about it when I was a kid in magazines. I seen some articles about it. I really I was confused when I was like ten years old. You know when this came out, ten, eleven years old. I was kind of just baffled what it was even for. It's like okay, um, I didn't even know it was an add-on I it's like 32x you know and you know pretty much they they kind of um, wanted the kids and the teenagers and everybody to know that it's a 32-bit system but back then it really didn't matter um, now if they came out and said hey this is a 3d this adds 3d to your uh, Genesis and they advertised it better probably would have took off and honestly, I think they should have skipped the Dreamcast and my, or not the Dreamcast, but the uh, Saturn, um, and then stuck with this if they were going to do it, you know, or just not had this entirely. So there was really only like 40 games that came out on this system, and they're kind of expensive on some of the more uh, popular slash rare games, but. Um, so this has, uh, let's see if I can even read it. So you got your AVN, so you actually have to hook your um, video cable from the Sega Genesis into the uh, 32X here, and then AV out, that goes out to your TV. Plus you gotta plug, plug it into the cartridge slot, plus you need a, I believe it's a nine volt power adapter. Now this port on the side, I, I modded that port. That's S-Video. 
so I don't have to use the AV out, which is only the red, white, and yellow cables. Uh, S-Video has a little sharper picture as far as um, color and contrast. So it actually separates the the chrominates and the luminates, uh, separates them so you get better text, better color. It's not as good as like RGB or HDMI or any of those other connectors, but it's a step up from just the red, white, and yellow cables. Because everything goes through your yellow wire as far as video goes, and then it separates audio to left and right. That's what um, white and red are. So yeah, this just kind of plugs into your uh, into your Sega Genesis. I'll kind of demonstrate it. <sighs> wow, doing a bad job at demonstrating it. But there you go. So it looks like a mushroom. It sits on top of your Genesis. Now this is a Sega CD. This is another add-on. So most people just have the Genesis, just this system, and then. Some people had the Genesis and the 32X. Now, um, some games came out for both, the 32X and the Sega Genesis, or, or sorry, in the Sega CD and the 32X. Now, you can also put just, um, let's see what I have here. I really don't have anything to show, but you know, this is like a Sega CD memory card. You could put that in there. That'll work. Um, you could put a 32X game in there. You could put a Genesis game in there, you know. So it is backwards compatible for those who don't know. And then here's the fancy cable. So that goes into the 32X. That goes in back of the Sega Genesis. So it kind of just makes a loop around. Uh, kind of reminds me of the old uh, Voodoo 2 or the Voodoo video cards for PC that you put in your computer and it will add uh, 3D acceleration. That's kind of what the 32X did. It took the 2D and added 3D. So with, let's say if you didn't hook this cable up, then you'll just get the background of one of the 32X games, you know. Um, so yeah, it's really didn't do it uh, justice because it's actually combining both capabilities of systems instead of just being its own thing. So um, now the the add-on retailed for about a hundred and fifty dollars between one hundred and fifty and one hundred and sixty, and then soon thereafter it was just uh, price dropped. You know, as soon as it came close to the release of the Sega Saturn to $20. And the funny thing is when I'm looking back, because I'm 40 years old now, right? So looking back on it when I was a kid, when I was like 10, 11 years old, <clears throat> I didn't hear about the Dreamcast really. I saw one commercial and it just had that, that uh, if you go back and look at the commercials, probably off YouTube or something about the Sega Sorry, the Saturn, the Sega Saturn. Um, I didn't really remember the Sega Saturn. I heard a lot about the Dreamcast when that came out. So it came 32X, Sega Saturn, and then Dreamcast. <clears throat> but yeah, it was the lady with the planet on her head. So like the Saturn logo or whatever on her, on her head. And um, I forgot what she whispered something and that was into the commercial. Uh, so I remember that commercial. That's about it. The 32X, I actually knew it was out. My cousin had one. Uh, he actually had this whole setup. And I thought that was cool. I was like, wow, where did you get that at? And I guess he got it at some used game store towards the uh, mid to late 90s. So uh, I, I don't even know if he even has that anymore. But uh, that was a pretty cool uh, setup. And I, I really wanted it. All I had was the Genesis and I didn't even have that really growing up, but I got that in like mid nineties when the Genesis was, you know, um, not really relevant as much. And the N64 came out. I, you know, I got a uh, Genesis from my friend and I, I liked it a lot because I like playing Sonic on it. So, uh, yeah, let's, 
I guess I'll show the games that are just rambling on here. So the games, I mean, like I said, it has small library games. So you got the um, Doom for the Sega 32X. And this had like missing levels just to fit it on the cartridge and it was kind of rushed. Um, the game I purchased recently, this is a uh, kind of like an aftermarket um, fan hack. This is uh, Doom 32X Resurrection. So this included all the missing levels that they took out. So this is like the full version of Doom. So I'd recommend buying this one. This is like 30 bucks or whatever, $32 or so. Um, the, the game I just showed you, I paid like 18 for that or something like that. Not very much. And then Metalhead. It's an underrate, under, underrated game. This is a kind of like a mech shooter. So I'd recommend that game. Uh, it, it does actually show off what the 32X can do. This is like the um, definitive version of Mortal Kombat 2. So this has a lot of the colors and sound and everything of the arcade. Um, it's pretty similar to the Super Nintendo version. Way better than just the plain Sega Genesis version. So it has better colors, better contrast, better... It's just a better version. I mean... They probably could have made this game to run on the Genesis, but uh, this game was pretty expensive from what I understand coming out. Um, and uh, I think these are similar. I mean, this is kind of the closest thing I have right now in front of me as a Genesis game. They're kind of similar to a Genesis game. You know, that's just a memory card for this Sega CD or memory cartridge. It's not really a card. And then I got Star Wars. This game is pretty common. <clears throat> I think this is the uh, what sold the system is Star Wars Arcade. So this kind of sold the 32X to the masses. A lot of people bought a 32X just to get this game. But yeah, it's just like, um, you know, a 3D version of the uh, original arcade, if you ever played that. Uh, Maybe I'll show some footage of this. Yeah, I'll show some footage of this game later in this video. We'll do that. And then we got Virtual Racing. So Virtual Racing was released on the Genesis, but it had a special chip in it. And uh, this is more the definitive version. This is actually re redesigned to work on the 32X and pulls more... Um, uh, hardware capability so the uh, the other version for the genesis actually has a special chip in it to add the 3d but this is a uh, 3d without the special chip so it actually looks a little bit better or a lot better in my opinion than the other one the gameplay itself it's not really desirable you know the it's you know it's just like any uh f1 simulator so but yeah we'll uh We'll check out some uh, gameplay here in a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna just show off a game of uh, Doom on the 32X. This is a reconstructed one, which uh, is just gonna show off the more of the capability of what the 32X can really do. So, let's see. Okay, new game. Single player. Yeah, we'll just do. I, I don't know what happened to the audio on this thing, but I, don't know, I just don't want to troubleshoot it right now. Plus, I don't really need audio from it. But so this this version really does look like Doom on the PC. Kind of pixelated, but all right. So let's show uh, another game here. I think I'll just show uh, Metal 
ahead. start up <laughs> a lot of these games uh, I got for cheap but a lot of them needed to be cleaned so I like you know that's a problem you have with buying used stuff is you have to take it out clean it and I'll give this another shot. I really want to show this game off. But I'm getting the, the license. There we go. And there's Metalhead for the most part. Like, let's see if I can. Uh, I'm just gonna start it. Get right into it. So this, I think this game doesn't get any love, uh, but it's kind of a short game. I mean, if, you know, I mean, if I would have had this back in '93, this would have blew my mind at home. You know, uh, a lot, of, a lot of computers couldn't even do graphics like this back then. Well, there, there were computers that can do this for sure, but you know, you had to spend a lot of money to do it. And yeah, you just go around, you just do missions in this game. Um, let's see, you can change your view, I think. Uh, let's see. I know the mode button on the controller changes the view. There you go. So you kind of just. What button am I pressing to fire? There's Metalhead. It's not a bad game. Um, you know, the, the, some of the games are not worth it. It's like the... Um, was it Sonic Mega Mix? Or no, not that. Uh, what is it? I forgot what it's called. <clears throat> Knuckles Chaotix. Yeah, there's games like that. It looked like they were probably just meant for the Genesis, but they needed something to release on the 32X because the 32X was very, very rushed when it came out. You know, uh, it was basically Sega trying to get ahead of. Well, wow, look at look in that drawing if you can see that. Whoa, or the pop in, that just that wall just popped in there. Um, I think it only has like two megs of VRAM. I would fact check that though, because I. I've done my research on this thing, but I, don't remember off the top of my head what. Uh, all the capabilities of this thing are but and somehow you can switch your weapons I'm not sure how let's see oh there's another guy coming around the corner there he is anyways uh, this, so this is my video the 32x thank you for watching and let me know in the comments of what you want to see next. And then if I have it, I'll do a video about it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.